Okay, so we're going to find out whether chickens will drink from hamster water bottles. And if they will, then we'll modify this to feed chickens. Packing at it. It's a little too low for them, though. What chicken got some? Yeah. He's drinking it. Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. Well, oh, I think they're figuring it out. So this is the bucket we're going to use. It's got a nice easy pour spout with a cap. So we can keep the bugs and whatnot out of it and just fill it up through the top here. The whole saw is the same size as the mouth of our waterer. We'll drill a couple of holes and see how it goes. Two holes drilled. I was going to cut this very long here all the way around because this is kind of a flat base which would seal against the bottom of the bucket. Uh, but I think what I'll do instead, in case I ever want to use this for its intended purpose again, is actually just drill a hole, which if I have to I can put a, a little patch, a little nut and bolt with a washer in it to patch it up if I ever want to reuse this as a, an actual waterer for a hamster. Two holes to let in the water. They're not going to drink any faster than those two holes will let water come through. Okay. So they're installed. A little bit of plumbing goop around the outside to seal it. And the chickens will drink from the spigots. Tomorrow we should be able to fill this up and see how it works. So this didn't work out very well. <coughs> These Hamster water just seem to leak whenever there's too much water above them. Yeah, some plumbing goo holding these on. It's actually proving tougher than I thought. So I'm just going to use a new bucket.
Because I want to make a foam, spray foam form around these to keep these uh, from freezing in the winter time. And I think what I'm going to do is wrap these milk curtains in some fabric or some foam, spray foam around it, uh, and then they should just be able to be pulled in and out. <coughs> Okay, well we've never really used this for camping, so I'm going to use it to wrap around the, the curtains. <coughs> Alright, so I cut out a couple of strips like this. <coughs> Alright, so I've got those full of water so that when the spray foam is in there, it's not going to crush them. Um, and then fill up the some of these gaps with just some old styrofoam, so I don't have to use as much spray foam. And I'm just going to use low expansion spray foam to kind of create a custom cooler. <coughs> And it should go onto that blue foam stuff, and then um, when it's all dry, I can just pull these out, refill them, put them back in, and they're just standard milk jugs. So whenever, if they ever get damaged, I need to replace them. It's not a big deal. Less is more sometimes. <clears throat> so after cleaning it out, whenever it's time for new water, strike plate <coughs> a couple of screws just to hang it off the wall there One day's worth of <coughs> dirt getting into the old fashioned water. It looks like they figured it out. So, one outdoor waterer. <coughs> Insulated. 